last one. Sleep in your cosplay onesie. <laughs> I don't know. Cosplay, but can't because some um, Comic Con events are not happening. As we know, the government are cancelling huge events like Comic Con events because of the coronavirus. But don't worry, you can still cosplay. You can cosplay indoors. I know a lot of my friends who are cosplaying by face painting, doing TikTok, doing live streams by playing video games and people watching them, uh, doing hero calls, hammer beads, doing stuff online and offline to stay away from social media and news about the coronavirus. We need to stay cause positive, you know, pace. Positive attitude changes everything. We need to think of being cause positive. It's something that I learned from Barbie. Surprise, surprise. Now here's my list on how you can cosplay when you're stuck at home. Number one, start your very own TikTok account. You can dress up as many costumes as you want to or just be yourself and just be silly. It's so funny to just be a character, change your voice and just post it out there. I just started a few months ago and I'm laughing at myself. What are you staring at? Do you think I'm a witch? Do you think I'm a princess? I'm a bloody queen! Start your own TikTok account, create a background to yourself, just have fun doing it. Number two, create a cosplay journal filled with all your cosplay adventures. You can fill your cosplay book with all your cosplay adventures by the Comic Con events you attended, all the cosplay meetups you attended, photos of your cosplay characters, pop in photos, list all the Comic Con events you've been to, put down all of the cosplay photographers you know, put down everything. Don't let me be the judge. Fill your cosplay journal with whatever you want. Number three, relax, turn off your screen and listen to some music. Or a podcast called Cosplay Podcast by Danger Dez where I interview cosplayers. Yeah, just listen to some music where you just listen to your favourite musicals, uh, TV theme songs, just anything from favourite shows that you love. Just sing along and have some fun. Even dance, you know what? Number four, dance with Just Dance. Cosplay in your favourite cosplay that you can dance in and put Just Dance on YouTube, download the app Just Dance and yeah, just dance along, it's fun. Just make sure you've got plenty of space, you're fit to do it and don't get interruptions. I do Just Dance once a month but now I'm doing it often. I literally clear the space in the living room, make sure I'm alone. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm dancing with Just Dance the app, I get my fans out and just see if I can dance with them. Here's a little clip. <laughs> yes, this is my background, but what I'm really showing you is these fans that I use for Just Dance. I was supposed to use these fans for Pride, but because LGBT events, marches, are getting cancelled, I might as well somehow still use them. I've got a ton of these fans, and I like taking them to come up on events, cosplay meetups, or just performing with my cosplay costume. If you ever get these off Amazon, to put them back together, pop it in your hand and just twist it around. And that way it never gets ripped from your under seven year old child. I plan to cosplay at Pride events but now they're being cancelled too! Next, learn to sew. I bet somewhere in your house, your mom or anybody has a sewing kit. Just get a needle, some thread, and create a pillow. This is not mine, this is Disney. But you can literally sew a pillow all together. Or fix all your cosplay costumes, because they may need fixing. So start learning how to sew. Next, redesign your house. This is a great activity you can do with the whole family. Like, paint the wall, redecorate your house. You could make your own cosplay wardrobe. That's all my cosplay costumes, my wigs, my hats, everything that's there that I cosplay at Comic Con events for or Pride events for. Just redecorate the house. Every time I start a YouTube video, I have to literally move this couch and make sure the background is this mermaid's fabric and not the one that's behind it. <laughs> no, we do not. Oh yeah, fix that now. Next, play video games, cosplay and live stream at the same time. That is hard. <laughs> I can do half of that. I just play games and cosplay at the same time. Or, my favourite one is, I play games and listen to a podcast. Anything to do with no story night I don't need to pay attention to, 
I just pop the podcast on or the radio or just something on TV that's on another screen. I do not need the PlayStation music on when I'm playing Lego games, Mario, Fallout. I don't know what you can play on the PlayStation, the Xbox or the PS. Um, right now I'm playing Lego Marvel, that's all I can say. Next, have a geeky t-shirt day. Make sure all your family is wearing geeky t-shirts. Like right now I'm wearing We Are Incredible. We literally are incredible. So make sure everybody gets changed, has a shower, gets clean, wash your hands and puts a geeky t-shirt on. That is so important. They get more awake in the morning and doesn't stay in their pyjamas all day. Keep them active and thinking about getting actually ready in the morning, like they're going to school, but wearing a geeky t-shirt. No, this is homeschool. Next, watch a movie with the whole family. Find that old movie that your kids haven't watched. Find a movie that your parents may be interested in or just put Netflix on and just have some fun with what's in the live stream. You can watch anything you want to. Friends, Stranger Things, I don't know. You may not be interested in what I'm interested in, but you watch what you want to. And the last one, look back at cosplay photos. Look back when you're at a Comic Con event, a cosplay meetup, when you're at a cosplay photo shoot. Anything to do a cosplay, look back at it and share it. Share the story behind it, how to make you feel, all the memories. And even if you look at the photo and you don't recognize the person who's cosplaying, look up for them, call them, see how they're doing. Even if it's a friend of yours, check how they're doing because we need to make sure our cosplay community is staying positive in all this commotion of the coronavirus. Some people are just having anxiety and they just need someone to talk to. So there you go guys, that's many ways how you can cosplay when you're stuck inside. If you want to know more about how to cosplay when you're stuck inside, go to my Instagram and there's a post up there showing you so many things how you can cosplay. I've just told you but if you forget, it's on my Instagram. Anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up, comment below how you're doing, I want to know how you are surviving this time when there's no Comic Con events on due to the coronavirus and you know, celebrating pride. <laughs> And subscribe. I'm gonna keep on doing videos. Next video is how can you be fit in your house? Like, you know, just dance. <laughs> That's the best way to do it with cosplay. Anyway guys, it's memories to make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. Wash your hands. Bye!